Hello and welcome to a new video. So today I have this big box here and I have ordered a few dolls and none of them actually say they've been delivered but I have a feeling it is Vampire Heart Draculaura. This will be a very crazy video if it ends up not being that at all. But I am excited that it has a box because I've seen too many people say that they didn't even get a box at all. So this is, this clears my mind a bit more and makes me less scared for her. So I'm going to get into opening it now. Opening her up, this is how she came. She does have this bubble paper around to protect her. So that's better than nothing because she has plenty of room to move around in here. I'm so excited that she's here. I thought how the day Draculaura was such a beautiful doll. And then I saw pictures of this doll and oh my god it changed my mind here she is she is absolutely gorgeous i love the pink designs all along the sides of the bottom of the box and it says monster high there in the middle it is a very thick box it's almost my palm width wide so like it's pretty deep the box has some cute little dec decals on the front of the box. There are some bat shapes, some hearts, some swirlies all across the box and also coming up the side. Here is the back of the box. It says Draculaura Vampire Heart. There is a moon on the left side with two little bats. And on the right side there is a lot more bats. Coming up close to the box there is a lot of writing. So here it is in English. And also other languages. So if you would like to pause and read those. Here is a photo of what I believe would be her prototype doll. And here is the back view. And down the bottom of the box, it says colours and decorations may vary. Doll cannot stand alone. So I am hoping this doll does come with a stand. And on the bottom of the box, it says this product is intended for adult collectors and is not intended for children under 14 years of age. There is the 2023 Mattel trademark with Monster High. And also over here, it has MonsterHigh.com and the barcode. Her fringe isn't exactly perfect, but it's not horrendous. Her face is absolutely perfect in my eyes. I've never actually been a picky collector with face sculpts if they're like wonky because like I don't actually look close enough for that. So I've never actually noticed it unless it was really really bad like her eye was literally on her cheek or her forehead. Her hair is done up so beautifully with some plaits. She's purple eyes and black lipstick with a black heart. And Draculaura also has real eyelashes. There is fireworks going off right now. I am doing this in the evening. So 
I'm probably gonna have bangs in this video. I will try to edit them out if possible. Her earrings, they kind of give off chandelier vibes to me. There is so much detail on her outfit. I believe that's not her sleeves. I think it's like a shawl over her shoulders and arms. I could be wrong. I haven't actually watched any videos. I've kind of, I saw a picture and someone took her outfit fully off and stuff. So I don't know. She has a pink little rose under her bralette part of her top. There is a cute little bow with, made out of ribbon and black. It does blend into her top. And lots of lace. I love the beads on each part of this dress. It is so nice. It's a nice detail. And the big cage of a skirt. I'm sorry, there is so much glare right now. I believe there is a plastic lining underneath the material of the cage dress. So you can see her legs. The dress looks like pleather to me. I could be wrong. But it is nice and round and poofy. And I just absolutely love this kind of style. On the front, it does say Draculaura Vampire Heart. There's just too much glare to see any of this, but there is some more ruching of the material and more beads down the bottom. And at this point in time, in box, you cannot see her shoes. But I will try to find a picture and post it here if I can. In the background of the box, there are some, I don't believe they're holographic. I think it might be iridescent. I can't, I don't know the name, but there are bats and they're flying around and they are on each side. Her hands look very cute and dainty, but they kind of are in a weird position. I think it would have been really cool if she had like a ring or something to tie in. And I just love that headpiece. It's so cute, even from the front view. Okay, so I do have this picture up of the back of her headpiece. You can see all the cute little pink danglies on it here, as well as the main part of it, which is the heart. And here is a quick overview of Vampire Heart Draculaura once again. This is me editing the last bit. I hope you have enjoyed this video and this review and I hope to see you in another one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!